Hello Taurus Twin Flames! Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a short uh, guiding reading for you and for your Twin Flame journey for this full moon in Pisces that's coming up on the 20th of September. This is going to be a reading quicker than usual but it's more aimed towards zodiac signs. I'm also not mentioning feminine or masculine energy. I'm just going to take a look at your energy Taurus, your counterpart and the energy of the connection at this time. So I'm going to go straight into it. Hope you're doing great. Then, of course, if uh, you're interested in a personal reading or a coaching session, uh, contact me via my email address that you can see in the description box and we can agree the details. Okay, so energy of Taurus during this time. This is a very powerful full moon coming up and uh, just wanted to give an extra guidance uh, and be more, a bit more specific to certain groups of how you can make the most of this time and of this energy to manifest what you're looking for. Because this time, until end of the year, is going to be super powerful for changing things around, no matter what it means for your specific journey, for your situation. Okay, thank you. Clear person, a lot of cards will take them, and the connection, please. So this is still a, a, a general reading, so take what resonates and do what doesn't. Bottom of the deck, strength. There's also a strong Leo energy, so it is, if you're dealing with Leo, um, there's a confirmation that this is your message. Okay, please clarify. Taurus energy. Okay, and please clarify the energy. Because for a person, Taurus, we've got quite a few cards, so I think it's, it's gonna be fine. All right, thank you. Bottom of the deck here, we've got the devil. Certain temptations still in the air. Mm, that's where you'll need your strength, Taurus. That's why I'm getting it. To avoid the temptation. The temptation of going back into your old ways, right? Into the comfort, into the comfort zone of your old ways. I'm a Taurus myself, and I know that the Taurus is, we don't like, we like change for less than average people do. And, um, what you know a lot of time we also don't like to uh you know we don't like to create conflicts we don't like to disappoint people so a lot of times it's we choose to stay where we are even though we know that it's not ideal somehow it doesn't make us happy but we stay in there not to stress out about the stress that we are causing around us <laughs> for ourselves and for people around us so please 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 don't do that you are on the right track that's what i'm getting for you and uh, you know you've got the strength in you so keep it keep it going for your energy taurus we've got king of cups clarified by two of cups so during this time it's very important to stay in this vibration of love especially if any manifestations you have are towards your twin flame uh, my quick recommendation is if you are manifesting something specific with your twin flame, don't go with a specific person, but uh, write or think or create affirmations or meditations about what would you like this person to be like, you know, what are you looking for, or if it's something that you want, where you want your communication to be, again, think about more generic, do not think about what this person could possibly do or like thinking about the person but think about energy about what would you like in general and uh yeah it's driven your <sighs> i'm getting here you're like on the high of like a very elated mood and it's driven by this by this twin flame dynamic by this connection with your person if you're not in communication then you have very strong telepathy at this time and you can definitely use the moon energy to make use of it and to communicate with your twin flame directly on what you're looking for or what you're seeing for you to in the future. Not necessarily when, but what, right? What is it? Um, and actually, I have some more tips on manifestation. Maybe I'll post something. We'll see. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Not in this video though, because I'm trying to keep them short. <laughs> short and sweet. King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords. That's your person's energy. 
yeah so this uh, it's actually a cool, very cool energy so the six of swords oh, sorry the king of swords i'm seeing that that's them so they are in the truth they are uh, they are trying to get to a more balanced state because they understand that they're not gonna bring abundance and success where they have been lately with a lot of hustle a lot of stress look at his face he's like sad and tired of life it's kind of like oh really burned out face right but he's got a bird he's got his sword he's got butterflies around so this and this is like starting to light up this area around him there's it's still like gray you know it's still gloomy around but it's starting to light so up around. they are seeing that this is a there is a way there is the light at the end of the tunnel so to speak and that's the that's the six of sword energy right seeing the the light at the end of the tunnel seeing the way to their happily ever after to the abundance to whatever the goals they have whatever mission is in their terms actually yeah to me this card is more about in this deck is more about mission about how you contribute to the world in the physical not just with your energy because that's a big part of it but this is more about the physical aspect of mission whatever they feel that you know drawn to to what that contribution is so they've seen that they how much they can contribute to this world but they need to stay in their truth to be honest with themselves and with others about who they are and what they want so that's that's where they are that's where that's how they can use this energy yes and if you are communicating even telepathically you can also you know send those messages to like just stay true to yourself stay honest with who you are what you want um for the energy we have of the connection we have eight of pentacles clarified by justice yeah so it's definitely some work that needs to be done and uh some of this work and i'm getting more about spiritual work about uh, energetic work about inner work that can be or connected with mission but still it's part of the spiritual path that both of you can do during this time to bring in some balance to your life and i'm not talking like balance for like i'm stressed out and in an hour i'm balanced now no it's balance on a bigger scale <laughs> pun unintended <laughs> um it's more like, yeah, if you're a little confused or stressed out about how your life is going or what's like happening in your, around you at this time, this is going to bring a lot more, um, not comfort, but uh, a lot more inner peace with it. And this deep understanding that this is all for your benefit and it's going to bring in something new and exciting to your life, right? But this inner work needs to be done or at least some uh, kind of worship, some sort of like giving, giving some of yourself for the good of others, for in the name of love, those kind of things, right? Something noble connected with mission one way or another. Okay, the card of guidance. Flexible. Mm. <laughs> last time i did reading for taurus i got flexible as well number 19 or one right beginning so yeah for taurus it's not very easy to stay flexible we're a fixed sign we're an earth sign we move slowly but uh, and we are kind of set in our ways in general but it's really important to stay open-minded at this time and be flexible to where the universe is guiding you just pay attention to those different signs that you see, even if they seem very odd with what you're used to, always that comfort zone that you're used to. At this time, it's super, super important, at least to listen, at least to get the information in. And then you can decide what to do with it, but at least be open to hear it and don't dismiss it quickly. Okay, I hope this has been useful for you, Taurus. Thank you very much for staying with me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.